Hi there, I'm Tom Wormwood. I'm a landscape photographer with Olympus and since moving to the system about four years ago, I haven't looked back. The portability of the system is really what attracted me to it. Being able to just chuck it in my backpack with all my snacks and layers and just go out for the day without having to worry about what I've got on my back. I'm here today with the OMD Ranger cameras. I've used them all for landscape photography and they're great, but which one's right for you? I started shooting with an EM10. It fit the build perfectly for what I needed at the time. I wanted something really small and portable to go into my bike backpack so I could be, have a camera with me at all points. Pair it with a standard zoom or a pair of fast primes and you've got a great little landscape package. Despite being a junior in the range, it's got all the features that you need. Full manual control, five axis in-body image stabilization, and of course the articulated screen, which is really, really useful for when you're trying to compose a shot from above. AP mode also gives you quick access to some of the advanced features of the camera. Things like live composite, which you can use to create light trails or use it in the night sky to take star trails. The touch screen is really, really useful. Compose your shot, touch the screen where you want it to focus, and it takes your image all in one go. As with all cameras in the range, the EM10 allows you to pair it with the OiShare app. This gives you things like the remote shutter release, which is great for long exposure photography. As we step up through the range, we get to the EM5. This introduces the all-important weather sealing, which is vital for someone like me. If I'm out under a waterfall, in freezing winter conditions, or on a dusty beach, I don't have to worry about my gear and I can concentrate on the views. With the EM5, you also get the fully articulated screen. I wouldn't want to be without this feature. This, plus the improved image stabilization and upgraded autofocus means it's great for going handheld. Also added with this camera is the amazing feature, high-res shot mode. I love this. 80 megapixel shots are absolutely fantastic for those rolling hills with glorious light coming across it. And don't forget, if you're struggling with the light, you can always use exposure bracketing. Using this feature, you can take multiple shots at the same time at slightly different exposures, enabling you to pick the best one when you get home. We now move on to the EM1. In my opinion, the best adventure camera. I can throw it in my bag when I'm going on a road trip with mates, out on sunrise shoot with the dog, or just going on holiday with the family. It's got everything I need. I prefer the slightly bigger grip on this body. Perfect for when you've got the slightly longer lenses on it, such as the 40 to 150. The upgraded internals of the EM1 bring some brilliant new features, all of which I wouldn't want to be without anymore. Live ND is a really, really useful feature, especially when shooting long exposures on water. It means I don't have to carry as many glass filters around with me anymore. Starry AF removes one of the hardest parts of astrophotography, focusing on the stars. When running workshops, focusing on the stars is one of the hardest parts for clients to master. This gets people up and running in minutes. And finally, we move on to the M1X, the real powerhouse of the family. The dual batteries keep you up and running all day long, meaning you never miss that shot. You can also run the camera from a USB power bank, a great feature if you want to run all night time lapses. Whenever I'm going on a road trip, I always make sure I carry one of these with me. I can always rely on its durability wherever I go. Like the EM1, it's also got the Live ND features and handheld high res mode. Fantastic features for all landscape shooters. It's also a great camera for handheld shooting. The balance feel and the dual controls mean it's great for portrait orientation shots. This camera also has an amazing frame rate. Great if you want to add an extra element to your landscapes, such as a canoe going down the river, bike going down the mountain, or if you're lucky enough, a fast jet going through the Welsh hills. So there you have it, four cameras, all great for landscape shooters. Now all you've got to do is choose the best one for you. I'm Tom Ormrod, now get out there and get some shots.